All right, weird. Vinny Apazy. Hey! Here with the Go DPS, Chromacast, and D Drum Drum Clinic. Yeah. Yeah. So, how are you? I'm doing good. Great yeah. to be here. I think I've been here uh, four times. You've done two four, clinics. Two clinics. You one. did Drum Wars with your brother, Carmine, and, and, and now you're yeah. doing a Drum Clinic today, and then tomorrow you're doing private lessons all day. Yeah. Woohoo! Pretty cool. You are a huge educator here in uh, Ventura County. Um, <laughs> so tell us about your drum clinic. What are you going to um, cover tonight? Um, well, I, I, I like to teach some of the licks that I use and uh, explain how they came about or how I use them. And, and, and I also like to show the licks very slowly so people can grasp, you know, what I'm doing. Because I would watch my drum teacher play something and I Wow! And then he was showing me really slow what it was. And I was able to do it slow, but nowhere near the way he did it. But I knew that that same lick fast is incredible. So let me just keep practicing it that way until I get faster and faster and, and then it starts sounding like him. So um, I've always looked at that as the way to teach. And, uh, and I do see some videos, some amazing drummers, and they show something and it's fast already. It's hard to figure out exactly what they're doing, and it's not explained quite as uh, clearly, you know. So, so that's what I like to do. I'm going to play some music, some Dio and Sabbath, and uh, I'm going to take some questions, of course, and have a good time, you know. I like to be loose and have fun. What about your private lessons tomorrow? What do you have planned for those? Is it dependent on the student? or? Yeah, depending on the student, we'll, we'll, we'll sit down and, and, you know, I'll listen to how they're playing and try to help them with what direction maybe they need to, to, to go in or study more. And uh, hopefully some of them will come and tell me, look, I want to learn how to do these kind of things. You know, whatever. They double bass play. patterns, no. You know, <laughs> I'm now, kidding. I, I can do double <laughs> bass simulation with one pedal. Right. But, uh, so we'll feel them out which one is different. Last in Line tour coming up. You're going to be in Europe for a couple weeks. You have a couple of shows coming up here, too. You're going to play at the Whiskey. Yeah, we're and the Whiskey here, and uh, we're going to play in Costa Mesa, Whiskey, Vegas, and um, a couple of them are repeat dates, but we want to do some dates before we go to Europe uh, to get in, get in the swing of things and kick some butt here and then go over there and we'll be ready. So uh, that starts uh, the weekend of October 20th. I think we might be doing Seattle. It's all on our website. Go to Last in Line official or Last in Line uh, Facebook. Last in Line Rocks Facebook. And uh, all the dates will be up there. Some VIP packages. and Yeah, so it's going to be fun. We, we love playing together. And love playing with Vivian. Vivian is just such a great guitar player. And you got Phil Susan now, too, replacing Jimmy Bain. Yeah, yeah, and unfortunately, Jimmy Bain, the original bass player from Dio and our good mate, uh, passed. You know, he, he died in January. We were on a Def Leppard uh, rock cruise, right. so it was shocking. So we took some time off, and uh, since then we we played uh, I think two gigs, and we had Phil Susan on bass from Aussie and a good friend, and uh, Eric Norlander on keyboards, and of course Andy Freeman on vocals from right. Rock Hall. Offspring and George Lynch, a great singer, it's amazing, and everybody. So it's a, it's a band where sometimes you play in bands, you look at the set list, you go, oh shit, we still got eight songs to go. This band, it's like, oh, we only got eight more songs. That's too bad, you know. It's one of those bands. Just love playing together and hanging out together. It's really enjoyable. Also do a rock and roll fantasy camp. Yeah, we're doing the rock and roll fantasy camp. Uh, there's one coming up with Alice in Chains and uh, the, the Leo Brothers, but uh, that one's coming up, and that's uh, interesting because that's one of the first of the '90s generation bands. You know, right. a lot of rock fantasy camp have been the, the, the legends like Alice Cooper, uh, Gene Simmons, Paul Stanley, Roger Daltrey, Cheap Trick. You know, from the '80s and sometimes the '70s even. And uh, so this is the first one, and doing really well. I won't be at that one because uh, I got some dates with my brother Carmine. And uh, but the next one after that's Deep Purple. 
Yeah. yeah. So I'll be at that one. That's going to be incredible. Speaking of your brother, you have an album coming out with him, right? You recorded well, for Drum Wars, or are yeah. you going to call it the Apathy never, Brothers, or the? We are you going to? Did anything yet? Oh yeah. Well, we did the show together live, and then uh, we released a live CD of, of the show, but we never really worked in the studio together, put songs together, and you know, make an album. So we thought this would be a great time to do it. It's going to be called the Apathy Brothers. Maybe it'll be called Messed a Piece. Uh, nice. I was going to say with the way you pronounce your last names differently, you might want to have your first name and his first name in there too. So. He's a piece on that. Yeah. It's just confusing. So uh, we put a pledge music campaign together, and uh, we never did that before. So that's online. You can check it out on our website, Apsy Brothers or DrumWars.com. And uh, that's going to fund the record. So far, it's doing pretty, pretty well. And. Uh, hopefully we'll be successful with that and we'll be able to start working on a, a record together. Uh, that'll pay for the record and some production for the, you know, go out and do some more dates with some more production and uh, kick it in the butt a little bit. So I'm right really excited about that. You know, with an orchestra earlier this year in Temecula. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, my uh, fiance Joey put that together and she contacted the, uh, we went to see the orchestra and she said, how would you like to play with them? I went, that'd be unbelievable. And that was a, uh, a bucket list item to play cashmere with the orchestra. Oh, yeah. Da -da -dum, bow, bow, da -dum. That, you know, I had my monitors here blasting with the orchestra. It sounded so loud, probably. <laughs> so uh, we did it and it was uh, Craig Goldie on guitar, myself on drums, um, Rudy Sauza on, on bass, and Andy Freeman, who's in Last in Line on vocals. And uh, and we did songs like uh, Rain on Me, The Who, uh, No More Tears, Ozzy with the orchestra part in it, uh, Nights of White Satin, something I normally wouldn't play. And uh, just songs like that, and the people went nuts. It's 1,500 people, the place yeah. was packed, it was outside, beautiful night, in Temecula. Mm -hmm. It was the Temecula Valley Orchestra. So it was called uh, Rock Legends. And so that was definitely a definite highlight of my career is doing something like that. I never did that before. It was awesome to try to put another one together yeah. because it was killer and everybody loved it. Yeah. There were more people after that show going, oh man, I'm so great. Ah. Yeah, this is softer music. You know? Sure. Yeah. Unless you're a metal head and you come see my usual. Well, stuff. a bottle of wine there too and you're good to go. So. Yeah. <laughs> so. Your products a little bit, your uh, new drum cases and. Yeah, uh, yeah we have, uh, then last year we got together, Joe Fugo and, and Joey Wesser and myself, and we uh, wanted to come up with some ideas for different products, you know, for drums. And uh, we just sat around and brainstormed and uh, had a lot of ideas. And this is the first one to come out. This is uh, this size here is a snare drum size, 14-inch case. And the cool thing, besides being a nice-looking case, very durable. It's hand, um, it, it's very strong. The stitching is just amazing on it. Zippers are heavy duty, so it's a very durable case. And this case here, you unzip here, and there's a compartment here that you can put a drum head, which is, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were no cases like that on the market. So How you neat. Could put, you could put a drum head in there. You know, you need, if you're going to a gig, you want a spare head. Usually, you put the spare head in the car or in a truck, or if you're doing a club or something, it would get wrecked a lot of times. So this is a great way to protect the head, the extra head, put sticks in there, whatever you need. You know. Little feature. And the inside's all this nice guitar. It's pretty piece. inside too. I saw the inside. The inside, of the case you can take a nap in there. It's so nice. Yeah. It's like uh, the inside of a guitar case with that velvety floor, whatever they call it. Stuff. It's a beautiful case. Right. And then we have stick bags coming out. The stick bag is going to be cool, and it's going to have places for different things that I'm not, I don't want to give it away. But it's going to have a lot of features that nobody has, so uh, that's going to be really cool too. And um, and then there's going to this, these are available in all the Tom sizes too. And then there's some new uh, guitar bags over there that Joey designed uh, some of them and with Joe. And they put their heads together, came up with different ideas, and she painted the artwork, and really cool, because she's an artist, too. Right. So, uh, some great products coming out.
Have you seen Eight Days a Week yet, the new Beatles movie? Is it out? Yeah. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. When did it come out? That limited release. It's out this week and next week. Oh my God, I gotta see that. Yeah, because you're... We saw, I saw it come in attractions. I went, oh man, a Beatle movie? Yeah. Man, you know? I play with John Lennon. I know, yeah. So, so you, you have a part in that history. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, oh, cool. So I love the Beatles, you know. Love the Beatles. And, uh, I can't wait to see it. 